You're here. I'm here. You I got finally, me, Lauren. I finally got you, Tyler Cameron. <laughs> How are you feeling about the fact that your life is now a situation where you go and you do big interviews like this? A lot's changed for you in yeah. a short amount of time. <laughs> we got my biggest interview to date now here with you, the wonderful Lauren Zima. Thank so you. So I'm for excited to be here. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I mean, life's different, yeah. but it's been fun. It's been good. I mean, it's funny because you're sitting here in this white t-shirt now, and I think you might have worn a white t-shirt like in your intro package for Hannah's season. Yeah, I did. <laughs> it's taken me back. Yeah. I mean, when you were filming that and just dancing around in that construction, did you ever think that this much would happen for you? No, I never thought it would blow up to this extent. <laughs> um, never thought, you know, that oh, the show would become all that it would become, the feelings that I felt, like... Never thought, and uh, but so grateful for the experience. It's been, you know, life changing. It's been the most amazing thing I've ever been a part of. Uh, like I'm super grateful for yeah. my whole experience. You danced around in that package a lot, Tyler. Yeah, yeah. You still a dancer? You oh, still I love dancing? to mess around and dance. Yeah, no doubt. I no kind of thought we might see you on Dancing with the Stars. Yeah, yeah. No, I got some other things I'm working on. You and do have some other yeah, things. Yeah, so on. we'll, uh, you know, hopefully that comes out soon. We'll get it figured out. What's coming out soon? I don't know. I can't tell you. Can't tell you. <laughs> you can't tell me. No. Well, you're doing a lot of modeling. Yep, yep. That's going really well. We've got yeah. some cool campaigns coming out, too. So uh, excited for that. Um, I had some editorials come out just recently, and those were awesome shots. And mm -hmm. it's going well. What do you like about modeling? I'll tell you what. The favorite thing I like about modeling is the other day while I was doing a shoot, it was for the Rock Report, and we were in like a minivan. And uh, you had two, produ uh, two producers. One was from Argentina, one was from Spain. You had a stylist from, she was from San Diego, but the hair and makeup was from Japan and the photographer was from Russia. And it was all of us from different walks of life all were together. And just to hear the stories and what people love to do and like, you know, talking about food and everything. It was just, it was just really cool to have everyone together and, you know, just kind of brings people from all walks of life together. Tyler, I love that that's your answer. I mean, most people would say, I love the camera being on me. I love the lights. I love looking beautiful. And you, you say... I love the, I meet people from all different walks. Yeah, no, I just love the people that I've met. I mean, I've been yeah. introduced to so many different people than I ever would be introduced to in Jupiter, Florida. Yeah. And it's just been amazing. I've made so many great friends, and I that's really, truly why I like enjoy it so much. How is it getting fangirled over? I would imagine it's not easy to walk through the streets of New York or anywhere these days. You have to get recognized. It can be a little overwhelming at times, but I will say that everyone's been super awesome, like super sweet. Um, yeah. I mean, everyone that's come up to me has been amazing and I'm very grateful for it. I was always obsessed with your amazing speeches you made on the show. I called them your respectful king speeches, <laughs> yeah, Tyler. They yeah. were so good. Did you watch all of your season back and and what did you think when you were watching it? I yourself? watched it as it came out. I yeah. never like I never I haven't gone back and watched it again. Right. Yeah, I mean, that was just me being me, you know, mm -hmm. and I, one thing I'm like, you know, proud of is like my boys would call me all the time like I'm glad you never like stepped out of character you're always true to who you were the whole time and, and that's how it was going to be like I was never going to sell myself like she was going to like me for who I am and that's how it was going to be yeah and you fell in love with Hannah yeah she's an amazing girl yeah. like there's there's you know I gave it my all and she's she's incredible have you been watching her on Dancing with the Stars I've watched a little snip like snippets I haven't been able to watch it I mean I don't even have a TV in the city so <laughs> like when when I was when the show was going on while I was in the city I like you know like race over to my friend's house and watch it you know so yeah now that I, you know i just haven't been able to really get to it but i've been watching like the clips that come out mm -hmm. afterwards she's killing it well and today's her birthday yeah yeah, yeah. she's happy birthday hannah <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so is new york your home now yeah i'll be probably bouncing back and forth between new york and florida like i still want to be in construction mm -hmm. so i'm kind of working out you know the that whole situation uh, i'm trying to possibly bring on a partner to be my eyes and go back and forth so you know, construction is still like a part of my life that I, I want to have and do. And, you know, it's something I truly love doing. You know, it's a, it's something that's tangible, you know, it's something that you can get your hands on and start from the ground up. There's a million pieces that go into building the house. And I don't know, it's just fascinating to me. Oh, so you're going to model and do the construction. Yeah, I guess. I, <laughs> great. Tyler, I give you credit. I, I mean, most people, when they get off the show, you know, they don't think, oh, I still want to do this other job. And yeah. here's I'm well, going to make solid it's my money. long term goal like, yeah. is to have a construction company and and use this, you know, use what I have now as a vehicle to help fuel that and, and get that going. Yeah. All right, well, let's talk about what else is going on in your life. Let's do it. Are you in love with a supermodel, Tyler Cameron? <laughs> and, uh, I'm at the point where I don't really want to talk about my <laughs> relationships. I've dated publicly. Yeah. So uh, I'm trying to, you know, date privately. And, you yeah, know, I'm, I'm not in love with anybody right now. I'm in love with myself. Be in love with yourself, I guess. You That's know? a good way to put it. Yeah. 
Well, you know, you had that final drink with Hannah, mm -hmm. and then we saw some very public photos of you and Gigi Hadid. Yeah. So where are you guys at right now? Who? You and Gigi. Uh, we're just we're just friends. We're just friends. Are you sure? <laughs> yeah, I mean that's just <laughs> where we're at. You know, I don't, our relationship is need to be public. It's she's yeah. good. She's good people. She's an amazing person, and we're just keeping it. Keeping it friendly. Well, here's the thing. You have all these fans who want you to be happy, who are yeah. excited for you. Yeah. Who probably wanted you to be The Bachelor. Yeah. But it seems like you, you might be a little booed up. I mean, I have, you <laughs> did. You went to uh, Gigi's grandmother's funeral with her, which was beautiful. So it seems like you really care about her. Yeah, she's an, she's an amazing person. We've had a great time together. We've hung out a few times, that's all. Yeah. yeah. We all watched you on the finale uh, get asked out for a drink. Mm -hmm. Hannah said, have one more drink with me. So where were you at in that moment mentally? Did you think about getting back together with her? Was that a real possibility? Yeah, there's definitely, there was emotion still there. Yeah. You know, she's an incredible person, an incredible girl. And uh, it was, um, you know, when she said, let's get a drink, I was like, I, I was already like figuring we were gonna go get a drink and see each other. I mean, one way or the other. You we know? had to talk some stuff out. Yeah, yeah. so it was, uh, you know, she's, it was it was good to have you know see each other. Well, then we got some paparazzi photos that looked like uh, the the drink had gone long into the night. <laughs> Did yeah. you expect those photos to come out? <laughs> no, no. Those, that, I mean, that's just that's just me. I guess not understanding the world that mm. I was kind of thrown into. Has and that been tough? Yeah, it's definitely been you know an eye opener, and you know you have to move differently now. And I don't know, it's just. Never would, never, never, that never came across my mind. That was a thing, you know, just yeah. the naiveness of me, I guess. What was the thing you're the most glad that you guys kind of talked out in that night? Like, did you figure out, hey, we're not going to move forward with this? What was the big takeaway when you did finally talk things out and have that drink? No, just that, I mean, we still care for each other and yeah. she's an amazing person and that, you know, there, I don't know, there's, there's no hard feelings there. Yeah, but just good to like kind of yeah. have that final conversation. Yeah, exactly. Well, Hannah did, she did a podcast and she said that you had seemed to move on a little bit quickly. Did you give her a heads up? Like how did that conversation I, I told her I was, gonna, I was gonna still date people. Like, yeah. like I, the whole time I was on the show, I really didn't go out and date nobody. Mm -hmm. Didn't put myself out there at all, out of respect for her and out of respect for the show. Right. And so I was like, I still wanna go put myself out there and see what's right and what's not right, you know? Mm -hmm. And that's all I was really trying to do. Yeah, I feel like your person always just tries to do the right thing. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Well, it's not always easy it's to not, do that. It's not always easy, you know, and, and I make mistakes and, yeah. you know, there's things, there's definitely things I should have handled better, but, you know, I never meant to do anyone wrong or anything like that. I just was yeah. trying to figure out what was best for me and where, where my heart was at. I mean, she told me she texted you about your dad. I think you guys seem like you're on yeah, good terms. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I wished her happy birthday. So. <laughs> you just did. <laughs> <laughs> so you're doing the modeling thing. Mm -hmm. Is that keeping you super busy, traveling all over the world? What's next with that? I got a really good, uh, really big campaign coming out. Uh, in January, I got some other things that are coming. So uh, I'm excited. It's fun. It's you know, it's been crazy. Uh, my agency's getting pissed off me because I got <laughs> I got to get back in shape. I got, what? I, mean, I got hurt. I've like busted my knee up, so okay. I haven't been able to run or do what I need to be doing. Oh, no. I've You're been a eating. Runner. I've been eating too good lately. So you like those late night cookies? I love those cookies. <laughs> so um, yeah, I just you know got to get back to getting right and getting. Get my body back together. It's really funny to hear you say that because I don't think anyone in this room would think <laughs> you to get back in shape. So. so, could we ever see you walking down a runway like we just had New York Fashion Week? Like, uh, are, are you gonna, are you a runway guy or is it just I, campaigns? I don't, I don't know. I mean, I, if the opportunity presents itself and it makes sense, you know, possibly. But okay. I'm just, I don't know. I'm just taking it day by day. It's modeling's been a blessing. I've got great people in my corner there that I love working with. Yeah. Um, so, I, I mean, I'm so new into that world, into that industry, so I'm just, you know, having fun with it, making a name for myself if I can, and, mm -hmm. and but it's like using it as a vehicle to get, you know, obtain the goals I want to obtain, which is construction and real estate, so. Would you and your friend Gigi ever model together? Mm, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, she works in the industry. Do you guys ever cross paths working? Uh, no. She's a little bit more big time than I am. <laughs> Might be one of the biggest supermodels in the world. Yeah, she's yeah. pretty good at what she does. She's pretty good at what she does. Uh, you met Bella too, right? I mean, do you have you learned anything from them? They've been in this industry a long time. Uh, no, I don't. I don't really try to talk that that talk with them. I just try to enjoy the moment. You know, again, I loved your respectful King speeches. If you were gonna like say just anything amazing and beautiful about Gigi, what would what would the speech be? <laughs> she's great. <laughs> anything else that's great? No, nah, I'm gonna leave it at that. <laughs> Okay, I mean, I could sit here and say, like, she's gorgeous, she's funny, she's accomplished, she's all these things. You said it for me. <laughs> 
degree. Yeah, can't argue that. Can't argue that, who would? She's great. When you're living this new life, has it been emotional for you to, to get photographed a lot, uh, to experience that side of things? Is it painful for you at all? It's not, I don't know if it's necessarily painful, but it's just, you, like, I'm afraid to talk to, on the phone while I'm on the streets, or, you know, like, it's definitely, uh, you have to change the way you move, and, and um, I don't know, it's, it definitely makes, it puts a lot of pressure on things that don't need to have pressure on them, so. Uh, like what? Just anything in general, you know, like everything, everyone writes their own narrative mm. before you even get to figure out what you're trying to fi do, you know? And so uh, it definitely puts pressure on a lot of things, and whether it's relationships, whether it's life, whether it's your family, you know, it's crazy the narratives people come up with. And I'm just trying to do the right thing on my end, and you just got to do what makes you happy, and everything else will fall into place. What's been the toughest moment for you through it all? Maybe the lack of privacy, being able to just yeah. blend in. So what have you learned about how to protect yourself? You, you know, you just you just have fun. You just can't you just can't let it affect you, you know. Like it is what it is and uh, you know, I just surround myself with good people mm -hmm. and when I when it weighs on me, I talk to Matt and I talk to people in my life that are important and they like like dude, don't even worry about it. Yeah. You know, like it's not your yeah. you know, you can't make I learned like you can't make everyone happy. Yeah. You just gotta make yourself happy. Are the paparazzi still following you around a lot? Nah. Nah. They're, they're leaving me alone. <laughs> okay, good. What are you most grateful for having had this experience? Like, what are you glad that you got out of it? I learned a lot about myself yeah. on that show. Um, that was like 10 weeks of therapy. It was, you know, you talk a lot of things out. You, you learn a lot about yourself. And it's a mental game of tennis going back and forth of like, you know, getting in and out of your head about things. And uh, it just gave me a lot of like confidence moving forward of how to handle things, how to just, you know, focus on what's important and then everything else will fall into place. You happy now? I'm, I'm extremely happy. You know, life's, life has changed for the better. It's great. I mean, I get to take my little brother to Paris in a couple <laughs> of weeks. Like, these are things that I never would have gotten to yeah. do, you know. You know, I told my dad the other day, like, write 10 things down that you've always wanted to do. And, like, I'll make it happen, you know. And it's just, like, I'm, I've been given opportunities that, you know, and, like, a head start on life. And it's grateful and it's opened a lot of doors for me and, I want to just do good by it, and, and you know, keep do, you know, keep doing things with the kids. I work with ABC Food Tours and and all that, and just try and keep putting positive in the world. Would you ever do reality TV again? Yeah, in in a certain way, in a certain okay. world, yeah. Well, we saw you Instagrammed. You had a meeting with Disney ABC. What's mm -hmm. the meeting about? Tyler? I got a lot of meetings going on right now. Okay. Um, I'm working to see what I can put together. Uh, you know, I'm just trying to have fun with it, take yeah. it day by day. Uh, I'm working with some great people. Okay. So I'm excited for the future. You did have quite a fandom, honestly, including myself. Hoping I'm a fan of you, so don't, so it goes both ways. Thank you, Tyler. <laughs> I mean, I'm glad this is finally happening, so I can sit here and grill the crap out of you. Uh, I, I'm catching it. I'm catching it. <laughs> it's getting hot over here. We're getting a little hot under these legs. <laughs> is this different than when you're posing for the photos? I did want you to be the Bachelor. Was that ever offered to you? Yeah, it was something we talked about. Yeah. But um, where I was at in my life and the point where I was in my life, I just didn't think it was where I wanted to be. Mm -hmm. My heart wasn't it. My dad was really was really sick and again and I was kind of nervous and scared and uh, just you know sat on it thought about it and just you know my heart wasn't in it yeah how's your dad he's doing much better now Good. he's uh, bouncing back and you know, it's tough because when you're in New York you can you can hear it in his voice when he's not mm -hmm. feeling good and when he is feeling good so Lately, a lot of our calls, he's been, he's been sounding really good, so it's, good. it's awesome. So I'm going to get home and see him soon. Well, I'm sure you're doing what he'd want you to do, which is pursuing your dreams and working hard. Yeah, he's, 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 he's definitely pushing me. He's, uh, he's been an amazing support system through this. You know, there's times where, you know, I want to just go home and hang out. It seems like, no, I'll stay up there, do what you got to do. Yeah. Uh, hopefully, I'll get him up to New York soon. He wants to see the leaves change and all that. Uh -uh. So I plan on getting him up here soon. I cried when you guys were on the show together. That was such a good That's episode. my guy. Yeah. That's my guy. I love him. Yeah. Has he met the new lady? No. <laughs> <laughs> so you turned down The Bachelor kind of for where you were at. Was it also because you were dating other people? Like, was that part of the decision? Yeah, I mean, I was, you know, I, it's, you shouldn't go on the show if you have a girlfriend. So, but, so you have a girlfriend. No, I wasn't saying that, but <laughs> if you're dating somebody or yeah. seeing somebody, you yeah. know. But also, I just, well, my heart wasn't, you know, 100% there, and that's something that you got to really fully be invested in. I think Peter is going to be amazing. Yeah. I'm, I'm excited to watch Peter. He's got so much joy and, like, that smile, and he's got the subtle swagger that I just love <laughs> and I adore about Peter. Like, he's just an incredible human being, so. You guys he, seemed really close on the show. Yeah, I love, I mean, he's, he's great. He's great. He's, uh... 
he needs to, you know, move to New York and be based out of New York so I can see him more. <laughs> he was someone who, I mean, he was in tears when Hannah broke up with him. Yeah. What do you think he'll be like as The Bachelor? Fall hard, emotional? I think he will fall hard for somebody, yeah. you know? It may fall hard for a couple people, you know? Because, <laughs> I mean, we saw it with Hannah, you know? And it's yeah. tough. It's a very hard position to be in. And uh, I think he's got such a genuine heart that it's going to hurt him to say goodbye to people. And, and he's, uh, but he's a class act and... I mean, you look at his family. He comes from an amazing yeah. family. So, How often do you think planes will be incorporated into his dates? I think it'll be almost every other episode we're talking <laughs> about planes. Could you give us a message right to camera for Peter? Peter, keep killing it, brother. I'm proud of you. I'm so stoked for you. Find your girl. Real quick, I just got to ask you about uh, Mike Johnson. Your Mike boy. J. Seemingly, I mean, he said taking Demi Lovato out on a couple dates. That's big time, Mike. Big time. Mike, Mike's, Mike's a smooth operator. Is he? Yeah. Well, he's got that smile. He's got that smile and those, those little caterpillar eyebrows. He's cute, you know? Maybe <laughs> maybe a double date. What do you think? We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Mike's a... Uh, you know, Mike's a busy guy. I'm a busy guy. Yeah. No, I mean, I'm happy for him. He seems to be happy and living life, uh, you know, to the fullest. I know he, you know, part of him wanted to be The Bachelor, but... Seems like he's bouncing back all right, and he'll do just fine. Mike's great. Bouncing back with a superstar Demi Lovato is fine. <laughs> <laughs> and I also want to ask you, can we get an, a Tyler dance move just for the memories? A Tyler dance move? Yeah, just a little dance move, like just right to camera for us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, remember I had the little re... I don't know. I don't got nothing on me right now. It's like 7 in the morning. It's 7 Eight in the morning, morning, Tyler. We barely gave you coffee. And my last ask for you, it's, it's very selfish, Tyler, but it's also for the people. Hmm. You know, I love the speeches. Can you to camera just like give some love to the fans? Like if you had a little speech to the fans who have followed you, <laughs> You're anything. You're putting me on the spot, huh, I am Lord? putting you on the spot. This is your new well, life now. To everyone, I appreciate you. I adore you. You guys have been so great to me and so great uh, with everything that's going on. But now it's time to get Hannah that mirror ball. So go vote for her and let's get her that, uh, that W this week. Uh, of course he makes it about somebody else. Okay, thank you, Tyler Cameron, <laughs> the best human alive.